people that waited in line just to share this experience of Venom, Candyman, Night Living Dead, The Rock, Final Destination. But I want you to know you are now entering the Cinema, Cinema Chop, Chop Shop, Shop. <laughs> with a top top and a pop pop pop. pop. Cinema Chop Shop. What's going on, everybody? It's David from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Now, today I'm here to review The Boys, what is this, season four? Thank God that this show is finally going to end next season. And I mean that to the deepest, darkest pit of my heart. Because getting through this season was a chore. And, I mean, I know a lot of people were saying freaking Homelander's character is submitting himself as an iconic character. I don't fucking see it. I, I think that him being the same fucking person that he's been since season one and has not done anything to show any kind of death, he's the same damn narcissistic person from season one. It's nothing special. There's no real depth to his character. Sure, we got a kind of an idea about how he was treated as a kid and that was cool but at the same time there was really nothing that came from it in my opinion these shows were every single fucking episode of this tv series was mediocre bodies 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 until we got to about episode what seven maybe seven was a probably about the time where it kind of got a little interesting seven and eight are basically the only highlights of this show you can literally skip one through six and be completely complacent with what you get because every single thing about this show reeks unoriginality and it's just shock value Damn. and that's the poor thing about this show is that it really has nothing to offer you other than shock value you have the same plot being played over and over and over again we have to kill homelander and i get it homelander is like the superman in this universe he's not easy to kill he's a cream of a crop he is reigning at the top. You know what I'm saying? I, I completely understand that. But at the same time, last season, Butcher had powers. All of them had powers. Why are we still unrolling the same freaking idea over and over again? The Butcher has to be one of the most annoying characters to ever walk the face of this earth. Ah! His character annoys the shit out of me. Ah! He didn't bother me a lot at first. This season, it really sunk in. He really got under my skin. I cannot stand him as a character. He's boring. He's lifeless. I don't care for him. Ah. Starlight's character. I don't care about her. Ah. She lost her powers mid freaking what midway through the season. Became completely useless. Completely irrelevant. And what? What? Were, and what were we trying to do with with Huey? Huey's father getting sick and him finally letting him go and learning how to let the I don't care ah! I don't care about none of these characters Frenchie becoming gay and then all of a sudden becoming straight because he forgot that maybe he had a thing for Kimiko and shit give me some booty this show is all over the fucking place and doesn't know what it wants to do the only thing that it knows for sure that it wants to do is show you a dick this show was full of them I don't like that shit it's always going to make you see one thing. It's going to be something with male nudity. It will I guarantee that shit. Every episode you are seeing some sort of some form of male nudity. And at first it was like, a, "What the fuck?" Like, you know, "Whoa, I can't believe they did that." But now it's kind of like a one-trick pony that's been done over and over and over again and it's just coming off as just weird now. You the the creators of the show have freaking obsessions with gen, male genitals. I'm fucking convinced. It makes absolutely no sense why there's such a focus on this shit. It's kind of irritating. This show just lacks so much substance. And for a show that just shows that how superheroes can be corrupted and become snobby because they feel like they're gods among men, it could have been so much deeper, so much deeper than what we got. This show is just pure 
unadulterated garbage. I'm sorry. And I get it. There's people out there that like it. That's cool. But you have to understand, what are you liking? What are you liking about this show? You're simply liking the fact that it's a little bit edgy. You're liking that it's violent and bloody. Because it can't be the storyline. There's nothing in this show that offers anything good story-wise. Nothing. The character development does not exist at all. And I wish it was at least one character in this show where I could say that the character development exists. Mother's Milk, useless. Frenchie, useless. Kimiko. And I like Kimiko. I like her. But now you want to fucking talk? After all these fucking seasons, now you want to talk? Nigga, please. And it's crazy because we've gotten so far to the point where now something happens. Now you guys are getting locked up in a concentration camp. Interesting. Now things are getting a little interesting. Now you're telling me a different storyline versus all of these dudes hiding in a basement somewhere trying to overthrow uh, freaking Vod. I'm, I'm sick and tired of the same storyline being rehashed over and over again. It's kind of ridiculous. It's redundant. It's pointless. I'll be so happy, dude. So happy when this freaking shit ends. I cannot wait for the end of this. I just can't get behind the show. I can't get behind it at all. Another person. Well, I will say this. All right, all right. There's one redeemable quality. Nagin, right? Fucking whatever his name is. Something Morgan. Whatever his name. Dude that plays Nagin in The Walking Dead is the one good quality of the show. You can kill the butcher. Kill him. And just have him take over. I don't care. Like, we, we I get it. I, I, I know that this is something that the butcher's seeing. This is like a personification of what what's really going on. But every time you walk around, you'll see the butcher in the mirror. But it'll really be Ma Megan. Give me that shit. His character is so much more likable than the butcher. I can't fucking stand the butcher. Megan's character is where it's at. He is interesting. I like him. Everything else about this show is pure, unadulterated garbage. Homelander's son is annoying, whiny, squeaky voiced hip squeak homie i do not like that dude at all annoying bratty i don't, ugh. It just irritates the shit out of me just thinking about him let's be honest here folks the boys is not a good show it's not a good show should have should should have ended three seasons ago and it's just getting worse so that's my review let me know if you agree or disagree whatever the case may be drop it in the comment section down below and you are now exiting the cinema chop shop hope you guys are having a great day and adios homies i want to play a game subscribe now the choice is yours you're now exiting the cinema church <laughs>